So black holes are full of these um, apparent conceptual challenges, which are actually not conceptual challenges at all. They're just a central part of Einstein's general theory of relativity. So that confusion was eventually dealt with and solved and people understood, certainly by the 1960s, what these things are and how general relativity models them. There is a central problem though, which is still not solved, which is, you put it this way, what lies at the center, and I'll be careful with my language, what lies at the center of a black hole? Now in pure, just in Einstein's general theory of relativity, actually, it's not right to talk about the center of a black hole, really. So what are we picturing? It's this thing called the singularity. You might think of it as an infinitely dense point to which this massive star collapses. It's kind of the natural way to think of it. But actually, just even in pure general relativity, when you look at a nice map of a black hole, the so-called Penrose diagram named after Roger Penrose, what you see is that the singularity is not really a place in space at all. It's a moment in time. And actually, it's the end of time.